Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card using the stamp set. Well, it actually it's not the stamp sets, it's the dies from uh, the stamp set Clubhouse. All I'm using in this are the golf clubs, the flags and the little balls. And I'm also using Itty Bitty Birthdays for the bigger Happy Birthday. That one's a little bit small and this one's a bit bigger. I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and burnished. A piece of white cardstock at five five eighths by three and seven eighths. And a bit of plaid paper. I don't have the um, Clubhouse um, DSP, but I've found this plaid. I've also cut and embossed one of the nesting dies. I think it's the third largest nesting die. I also have a piece of crumb cake at four and three quarters by one and a half. Which will sit behind like that. And I've got a piece of scrap to do the happy birthday. And a piece of white for the inside. So, right, I made a golf card already with this and I did the inside and because the light was bad I couldn't read what this said. And it says, I hope the next year is full of green fairways, blue skies and shot puts. It was the fairways I couldn't read. But I can see it now. So I will be stamping that inside. Might as well get it out. Ready. So to get started we're going to do a bit of sticking first. So with our glue we will stick down the paper. This paper come from a pack I bought ages ago of six by six mail papers. Right, that's on there. Now this to get the middle, what I'm going to do is just fold it over. I should really get my ruler out and measure it. Pinch it and do the same this end. Pinch it and then cut up and flag it. And that will stick down there and it goes flat so I might as well stick that down. I was going to stamp on it but I thought with the busy background i.e. the plaid we didn't actually need to stick that down and now this will go on dimensionals. The embossing folder I used on this is like a load of little... It looks like Lego. But it could be golf balls.
The embossment border is just a plain one, there's no name on it or nothing. Make sure that's straight. Alright, I'm going to stick this on our card base. that ready to receive the decoration which we've got to colour in. I've got them all out. I've got more here. I've got the three golf clubs, two flags and should be six. There's not six balls. So, we need to colour in these. I'm going to bring up a bit of paper because I don't want to get pen marks all over me paper. So, we we'll use grey for the sticks or sticks whatever you like to call them, flagpoles, no they called so much. And the same on the golf clubs. Right, this one is a wooden one. This one is just a normal silver club. And the same as this one. Handles are all going to be black. Don't actually know what colour handles golf clubs are. the bottom of the flags is some grass so I'm just gonna colour them in colour in our wood Wood um, club, and then the flags we did one red, and one in yellow. And that is our sticks done. 
all I did with them was arrange them on here and stuck the balls down there and then these I stuck down after I did the sentiment so let's stick these down and I just put glue on the handle not the hand grip they're so thin Right, oh. glue the balls down. Let's get this sentiment stamped. And I'm going to stamp that just there. Nice. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment for the inside. black ink on my thumb right oh guess what I've done it's supposed to go that way Just as well there's two pieces of card to every two sides to every piece of card. That's better. Let's stick this in. Won't be the first time I've put some in the wrong side or wrong way on the inside. There we are. And we just need our scissors. Got this. And we did flag it.
and that will go along like that. Did I stick it down? Yeah. Mindful of the postage. If you're going to hand deliver this, this will be great up on dimensionals. Right now, for the flags. Just stick one here. So it's on the um, sentiment and uh, the same as this one. There you have it. One crazy golf card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.